What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, now, what I want to do today is I want to give you a super, super, super beginner lesson, uh, maybe even your very first guitar lesson, like something to work on if you can't play guitar, and also if you even look up easy beginner lessons and those seem too hard as well, this lesson is for you. Now, I know what you're saying, advanced player and intermediate player out there. Marty, come on, man, make some more advanced stuff, man, for the advanced people. You know, I always mix it up, and I will have more advanced and intermediate lessons coming your way. But this is a good lesson for you as well, because you can actually teach this to somebody else. And you can actually pass on the joy of guitar playing to somebody. And I think this stuff is a good, like, first lesson. Uh, also, if you get something from this lesson and you want to explore that super beginner strumming and getting used to playing the guitar, I created a, a rhythm, like a half hour long a rhythm video series. You can click the link down there. It's not on YouTube, but I have a link for it. You can go there, super ultra beginner strumming, nice and easy with lots of patience. Um, so you can check that out. But in the meantime, we're going to zoom in right now, and I'm going to show you this great kind of very first guitar lesson that you can either work on or teach somebody else. So hang tight. Here we go. All right. So one of the actually most difficult things for a beginner guitar player is actually to get a guitar in tune. What I recommend you do is... You can go to my website, guitarjams.com, or you can even just look on YouTube on how to tune a guitar. The number one way to tune a guitar would be to have someone that's a little more experienced help you do it in the beginning. But there are a lot of resources on how to get a guitar in tune. So once a guitar is in tune, we're, it's going to lead us to what I'm going to show you right now. And it's going to be right off the bat. It's not Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's not Happy Birthday. It's not Ba Ba Black Sheep, which is the same thing. Uh, it's uh, a chord. So that way we can strum something, we can get a little sound out of it. Listen to it. So a chord is when you play more than one note together and you let them ring out together. A group of sounds together that sound good. A chord. We learn little shapes with our typically our left hand we kind of memorize these little shapes and then the music gets expressed through either our thumb or our fingers I recommend you use a pick or a plectrum is what they call it if you're an absolute beginner I recommend that you use a really flimsy pick it's much more forgiving than a thick heavy pick and I think you can build up from there but if you're having problems strumming I recommend you get a light pick or an ultralight pick, just something that's got a lot of kind of flimsy, flamsy flexibility. I'm making up my own words. What are you going to do? Ah! So anyway, a nice flimsy pick. And then we've got our left hand and our left fingers right here. And we're going to do, uh, do a little chord, and then we're going to strum it. Now, uh, you have these metal bars here that go down the neck of the guitar. Those are called frets. And when we're learning guitar, and even when you're more advanced, we, we can count the frets. Like if I said fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five. And you want to think of the fret as the space, you know, like a, this rectangular space here in between the metal brackets. So first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. All right? Uh, just something to keep in mind, the frets. What we're going to do is we're going to take our index finger and we want to use the very tip, the very tip, and it's going to kind of, you know, I've heard people complain about how it hurts their fingers. Look, if your fingers are bleeding, take a break, but you got to build up little calluses. I'm thinking about how my daughter's doing the monkey bars and she's building the calluses up on her hands there and it gets easier and her hands get stronger. You just got to start somewhere and your fingers will get stronger. So we want to use the very tips of our index finger and the very tip of our middle finger. And they're going to be together like that, like a scout's honor kind of thing or whatever. We got them together like that. And we're going to use the very tips. My index finger is going to be on the second fret. So look, first fret, second fret. And I'm going to 
one, two, the second string down, the very tip of my finger is going to go right there, but I'm going to curve my hand underneath like I'm holding it, you know, like a, like a hammer, holding it like a hammer, right? And that index finger, very tip of it, is going to come down on that second fret of that second string down. Now you don't want to be scooted back here. It's going to but it's a much more likely that the that you're not going to get a clean note out of it. You want it a little bit farther up almost to the next fret and that will give you the cleanest sound. So you can pick the note and see if you get a sound out of it. If I scoot it back So we want it right there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our middle finger and we're going to put it on the same fret, which is the second fret, first fret, second fret, but that middle finger is going to be on the third string down, right there. One, two, third string down. So remember that index finger is right there, so you got to kind of figure out that finger can't be all the way up there and still get your middle finger underneath, so you kind of have to let there be enough room for both fingers to get on there. So once again, I've got my index finger on the second fret of the second string down and my middle finger on the second fret of the third string down. This chord has a name. It's called E minor. You know, we give letters to the names of the chords. This is called E minor. Now check out something else here with my with my left with my left hand here we don't want this part of our fingers on this chord to be stopping the other strings from ringing out we only want the tips of the fingers on those two strings there and then we want to be able to hear every other string open so we don't want our hand blocking these higher strings so you don't hear them ring out so there should be a gap you're leaving a gap here so you can hear all the strings. Take, it'll take a little work and a little patience, but once you got it, it'll sound like this. Now you can pluck each note down, and that's a good exercise for your pick. And you notice I'm picking up here on the neck. It's just so you can see what I'm doing. We want to actually be strumming and picking down by this sound hole. And you can see, oops, I dropped my pick, but there's gaps here, so the strings are ringing out. So that was a good, another good beginner lesson is dropping your pick. A lot of times you'll drop it actually in, in the sound hole, and that's, a, that's for a different video where you have to shake the, the pick around till you see it in the sound hole, and then you do a flip over and the pick usually comes out. But that's not what this lesson is. This lesson's for the very beginner and getting your first chord. And that first chord is called E minor. Now if you strum through and you hear one note that's not ringing out, pick it and then look and see why it's not ringing out over there. Okay? So that's your very first chord. Now I'm going to give you a little rhythm to try with that pick. Remember, we want to be strumming it down by the sound hole. I'm just showing it so you can look at both hands at the same time. Now if you look, different people hold picks different ways. I've kind of got my thumb out like that, and then the pointy part of the pick is, is sticking out that way. See that? So my thumb's right there, and the point is kind of going out sideways. It's almost, I almost have it at, at a diagonal. And then I just pinch it together, so the point of the pick is pointing out that way. And then I strum it, like a, almost like a paintbrush. See that? So there you have it. Thumb, the pointy part right there, pinch it together, paintbrush it, okay? And we're going to start with two down strums. Down, down.
right? Then we're gonna add a little rhythm. So I went down, down, then I went down, up, down, up. So you've got down, 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 up, down, up. Try it again. Down, 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 up, down, up. Now I'm gonna do it, and then you're gonna do it right after me. You're gonna copy me. Down, 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 up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. Now, as you get comfortable with that, you want to just keep looping that rhythm or repeating that rhythm over and over. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down. Now there's two places to go, because that's just kind of, I know it's kind of boring sounding, because it's the same thing over and over. Well, there's two really easy places you can go from there to mix up your sound and you're playing music. The first one's called, it's even got a really fancy name, A Suspended 2. But all it is is taking this E minor chord, which is, you've got that second string down and third string down, you just take that exact same thing and scoot each finger down another string and you get a whole new sound. You can switch back. So you can start messing with just moving those back and forth in different lengths of time and express yourself and try and keep the rhythm even though you're switching. And that's a great starting point for starting to play guitar. One other place that you can go, and it's even just right in a Nirvana song, is doing this rhythm. But this time we're going to go to, for, for all intents and purposes, we'll call it a G. But what we're doing is we're taking that E minor chord and we're taking our middle finger off and we're moving it to the third fret of this top string. One, two, three. That middle finger comes off of that E minor chord and then we move it right there. And you can do that in any rhythm you want. So you're going to be practicing where that index finger is staying and then you're moving your middle finger back and forth while that index finger stays. And it might sound familiar, like Nirvana kind of. That was it. I hope uh, you got a little something from that. Remember, playing guitar just takes a little bit of patience in the beginning. Once you get over that first hump, like even if you could get 
comfortably through this lesson, it really becomes a lot more fun once you're just, even just with one or two chords, because you can actually play some music. And that's inspiring, keeps the morale up for when you want to learn the next shape and the next little thing. But think of it as tiny little steps up the ladder. And don't think too far up about the top. Just think about where you are right there and take it one little step at a time. And you will get somewhere, I promise. Remember, I've got that new uh, rhythm series module right down there. You can check that out. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I uh, hope to see you again real soon. Take care.